Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series about configure within the MySonet embroidery software. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the utilities tab within configure and explaining why some of those buttons are really important. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of MySonet, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video, I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you today, you'll be able to do on a Mac. The principles are exactly the same. And more importantly, everything I show you today, you'll be able to do in any tier of the MySonet embroidery software, including the basic free version of the software. I've got the welcome screen up and straight away you might notice that it looks slightly different to uh, your version of the software. You'll notice that instead of having a green banner down here, I've got a purple one. To change the appearance of the MySonet embroidery software on your uh, device, you'll probably find it useful to watch the film in the series about the appearance tab. But I also just want to bring your attention to over here. We've got three uh, projects listed here under the open project. And you'll see why I've just pointed that out. But let's go on and we're going to open up configure. So I'm going to come down here and click. And that's open the configure dialog box here in my hoop. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to go to the utilities tab. So the top button here is about the thread cache um, feature and there are three films in this series about that. And the second button here is about quick font and there's a film in this series about that. So the reason why I think the utilities tab is so important within Configure is it's a great place to start if you are troubleshooting because for some reason your software isn't perhaps doing exactly what it should do. So the first thing I would always suggest if you're troubleshooting is that you would open up configure and you go to the utilities tab and then you would check for updates. Now usually Whenever you open up the software, it will automatically do this and it will automatically update. But if for some reason you feel that there might be an issue, I would suggest that you click on this button. And you, in this case, you can see I've got a dialog box. It's saying that there's no update available, that it's I'm, I'm working with the most up to date version. I'm going to close this down by clicking OK. But again, it might be perhaps if you're troubleshooting uh, because your software is not communicating you, uh, with either your Wi-Fi enabled machine or perhaps your designs are not uploading to the MySonet cloud. What you can do is you can click on start MySonet connect. Now, again, this will automatically happen usually. Now, a way to try and identify if there is an issue is to look uh, at your hidden icons if you're on a PC. Now, I've had to do a screen grab of essentially the bottom right hand corner of my screen. Remember, I'm on a PC and I've clicked on this little arrow here to show uh, hidden icons. You might find that you have different sets of icons depending uh, what you have loaded on your computer. But what we're looking for is this little sewing machine icon. Um, sometimes if uh, you have a connectivity issue, you might find that there is a red cross alongside that. And if that's the case, what I'd suggest that you do is you go back to uh, configure click on the start MySonet connect because sometimes that connection can get broken um, and that just helps re-establish it. A dialog box isn't going to come up. Now the third place to look for help if you are troubleshooting because you feel that there's an issue with your MySonet is this button here and that is a reset all modules. Now what this will do is this will essentially take your software back to the default settings. So what I am going to do is I am going to click on that. 
and you'll get a dialog box saying all modules will be uh, reclosed and set to their default settings. Well, that's what I want. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to get a message saying, can you actually make sure that, that uh, all modules are closed? So I'm going to uh, click OK on that. And then I get a, a dialog box saying that they've all been reset to their default settings. So again, I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to reopen my Sonet. And now the main embroidery module has reopened. You'll see that we've got the original default blue background here. If I go over to the file tab, you'll see that I've got the uh, dark green band down the uh, side here, but also those other projects, those old projects, have actually been uh, sort of tidied away. And so sometimes it's a really good idea to do a uh, reset modules if you're starting a new project. And effectively, you want almost like uh, the, the open project feature to be like a clean piece of paper for you to be working on. It's almost like tidying away all those projects that you have been working with. Straight away, you'll see that we've gone back to the default settings. So uh, my uh, background in my hoop is the default sky blue. And over here, um, all my active colors in terms of my layout are the standard green. And doing a reset of all modules uh, very often can um, sort out issues that people have with their software. And if those three steps hasn't corrected a problem that you've got, I would strongly urge you to uh, get in contact with software support via the mysonet.com website. So let's talk about what else is going on here. The Reset File Association. Now you might need to click on this button if, for instance, you've installed uh, another embroidery software and you want your embroidery files that you want them to open up in MySoNet. And let's talk about backup my settings and restore my settings. So in terms of backing up, backing up your settings, it might be that you have created your own motifs, that maybe you've created uh, your own fills. And if, for instance, you uh, are about to get a new computer, I would strongly suggest that you consider backing up those settings so that you can save those and transfer those settings onto your new computer. So let me talk through that process. So I'm going to click on back up my settings. And so if you are looking to install on a new computer and you want to save your settings, I strongly recommend that you uh, save onto a USB stick so you can transport that information across. Um, in this case, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click cancel. But what you then would do is on your new computer, you would install your software. You'd then open up configure, go to restore my settings. And in this dialog box, you'd need to make sure that your USB stick was in that new c computer. Find it here and then open up the uh, zip file from there. So hopefully you can see that the utilities tab is where many of the kind of the key nuts and bolts problem solving features are within the MySonet software. And if those features don't troubleshoot a problem for you, contact software support via the MySonet.com website. If you found this a useful film, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy sewing.